Hello, everyone. The road to God is a very straight and narrow road. Like when you begin living for Jesus Christ, you may have people that may surround you that is living for Jesus Christ as well. But as time goes on, I believe you will find more and more people will fall away as in not really serve God like they used to or stop in living back in sin. I think about myself um, when I was younger and I believe it was due to ignorance. I did not know as much as I know now. So I would try to serve God, then I would ultimately fall back into sin like this cycle. And then I believe I started to seek God more and I learned how to become more stable in Jesus Christ. Am I saying I am 100% perfect? which I should not have to say this because I think that is common sense, but some people may not see that as common sense. Some people may think that I try to place myself on a pedestal and they may not have seen many of my videos. So I believe you will find there may have been more people around you who serve God, but as time passes by, those people or some of those people may fall away. So if they fall away, don't be the one to do it to. Actually, we should be praying for those people. Living for Jesus Christ may not be 100% easy, but to live without Jesus Christ, I truly believe it is much harder. If you read the Bible, which I would read the Bible with my wife and I would read the Bible with some other people, even when you read, even if you were to read in the Old Testament, I believe you will find that it is not to our advantage to live in sin. It's like, to make this easy to understand, it's like trying to walk up a hill while someone is placing force back on you, if you understand what I mean by that. So you are trying to walk up a hill, but at the same time, someone is struggling with you, pushing you back. I hope that is a good analogy. God may allow particular things to happen in your life. He may allow it. He may like look at Job. Job went through some really horrible things. But look at how he was rewarded. So I can understand why some people fall away from Jesus Christ because it is not easy. 
but look at, I don't want to say look at the end point, but look beyond what you are going through. Like, for instance, I am going through some things now. I am. But I am trying, trying to look beyond what I am going through now. See, I listen to things about God so much. So even when I get into trouble, sometimes I believe demons try to... Um, uh make my mind make me think so much about my problems to where i am not focusing so much about biblical principles i believe so but if if you stay if you stay stable in jesus christ and endure what you are going through with the help of God, I believe you will elevate. I believe things will get better until the next problem. See, that is the thing about it. I think some people believe when they give their lives to Jesus Christ, that, or life to Jesus Christ, they believe, they may believe how things will be in heaven should be the way it is now. Like in heaven, I don't believe we are going to have any more problems. So I think some people believe, well, I serve God now, so I should not have any problems now. And it is not like that. In this world, Huh. You know, this may seem very weird. This may seem very unattractive. I believe in this world, we are being thrown, not so much thrown, but we are going to, we are going from test to test, to test, to test, to test. And if you don't pass a test, I believe you will continue to retake it. What am I saying? I believe life is like a class. And I believe we are going, I believe the sinners and the righteous, I believe we all are being tested. So once you pass one test, I don't know exactly how everything is, but I am trying to illustrate a point to you. So please follow me. So sort to speak, once you pass one test, you go to another. Okay, you passed that test, you go to another. Oh, you failed that test right okay you have to take it you failed it again you have to retake it you failed it again you have to retake it have you ever wondered my lord have you ever and and i believe that is true too have you ever wondered like why am i going through the same thing over and over and over again. Have you ever wondered that? Maybe, <laughs> my voice is cracking, maybe you are continuing to fail the test. You may be in this part of the world, then move and be in another part of the world. But no matter where you go, it seems like you are continuing to go through the same things. Why is that? Perhaps you are going through the same things because you keep on failing, perhaps. 
So I believe you have to keep on retaking that test until you fail. I mean, until you fail, until you pass. I hope this is making sense. Okay, to get back to my point. No matter who you see fall, as in fall away from God, no matter how many failures you see in a church and people who claim to live for Jesus Christ, no matter what you observe, continue living for Jesus Christ no matter what. With some people, they may be motivated to live for Jesus Christ, then let's say they had so much respect for an evangelist or a pastor. And let's say those people did some type of sin like fornication, adultery, or whatever like that. Some people may fall away from God because their idol or whatever you want to call them, the pastor and whatever like that, just because they feel away, some people may fall away too because they may be like, well, they claimed to be of God, but they are doing the opposite of what they should be doing. So since they are doing that, God not, may not be real or God or God may be false or something like that, which makes no sense. If someone is in an elevated position in a church, if you find out they have sin, what does that have to do with God? Does it mean God is not real because your pastor or bishop failed or sinned? I think some people are unreasonable or may think in a very strange way. So because they failed, that means God failed as well? Makes absolutely no sense. So Tommy is a preacher and Tommy preached to you for 20 years. So you found out Tommy is uh, a liar and a cheater. So since you found that out, well, that means that God is not really what people say he is. So God is not, yes, the Bible says blah, 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 blah. But because someone I respected fell into sin, because of that, God is not real. Makes no sense, man makes no sense listen man stop looking so much at people meaning don't let how can i say this don't let someone discourage you from living for jesus christ because they fail into sin. Have your own relationship with Jesus Christ. Don't have your relationship in Jesus Christ through another person. For instance, I am drawing my encouragement to live for Jesus Christ through Jami and Timmy and Salon, 
a made up name, I guess. <laughs> so if they fall away from God, I will fall away from God as well. How foolish is that? Truly foolish. When you get saved, when you give your life to Jesus Christ, some people may fall away. That is the way that things are. Just because they fell away from God doesn't mean you should do it as well. Man, I hope this makes sense. For instance, Let's say I had my own church and I have been teaching you for 80 years, not 80 years, uh, 40 years. If I fall away, why would you fall away too? Am I your God? Am I your idol? Am I your Messiah? I should not be. If I am, you have an issue. We are in a race. Everyone has to run the race for themselves. I can't run the race for you. Hello? I can't run the race for you. You have to run the race for yourself. Now, someone can teach you and encourage you and help you, but ultimately, you have to run the race for yourself. I hope this makes sense now. So, your encouragement, oh man, your encouragement should be drawn from God from God himself. Read the Bible, pray, get encouragement in the word, not from uh, Uncle Kev and, and Russell and, and, and uh, Flem and this person and that person? No. We are human. Humans can fail. So if your trust is mainly in humans, what is going to happen to you? You place your trust in God. You place your faith in God. Try to draw encouragement from where? From God. Let me stop here. May God bless you.